Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who taught us the truth. And Shalom to the mighty Akim of Akwath out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from this final captivity. And today's topic is going to be entitled Stop Having a Defeatist Mentality. Okay? So basically, the purpose with this is to talk about, you know, keeping the commandments because um, so-called Christians will say, um, well, we can't keep the commandments. We can't keep the commandments. It's impossible. That's why uh, uh, the Most High said that we don't have to keep it anymore. But he never said that we never, we don't have to keep it. He never said we don't have to keep it anymore. And they try to uh, look for a way to not have to keep it. All right, but in this, uh, I'm gonna show example, basically show examples, and um, try to beat back down, beat down that um, mentality. All right. So, firstly, uh, Luke chapter one, verse five. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea. A certain priest named Zacharias, and of the course of Abiah and his wife, Slachia. Uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abiah, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Verse 6. And they were both righteous before Yahweh walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless okay so these two people they were righteous before the most high and they walked in all the commandments and ordinances of the most high blameless so all, already already it's uh, there there are these two people that are showed to be able to keep the commandments Perfect and blame, perfect and um, blameless. So, so far, if these two people can do it, then that means that the potential for everyone else doing it is there. So we don't have, we don't have any excuse. We don't have any excuse, you know. So continuing on, John, chapter fourteen, verse fifteen. If you love me, keep my commandments. Okay, so the. You you can't just say oh I love someone because even even when you say oh I love my uh, wife or I love my dog and whatnot or my kids you there you you do actions to show that uh, love isn't just uh, that concept of what's the word the concept of admiration but it's also oh, a con. It's also the action that's we show, we show our love through our action. Okay, if you, if you actually love your wife, you protect her from, you protect her from harm. If you love your kids, you correct them and whatnot. If you love, of anyone, you, you show it not just by saying, "Oh, I love you," but you do it through your actions. You know, rather whether it be correcting or, or uh, protecting. As I said before, all right. Now, First uh, John, chapter five, verse three: For this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Okay, so this is it: the love, loving the Most High, loving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is keeping His commandments, following following His words, uh, uh, being obedient to. Yahweh is is how we love him. Okay, so it goes into keeping his commandments. So it is safe to say that if you if you don't keep his if you don't keep his commandments, you don't love the most high, all right? It's it's liter it is actually that simple. Because, and and uh it also going back into the example of, you know, showing love. You take it from the kid, a parent and their child, loving your parent, a parent loving their child and a, 
um, a child loving their parent, you know, it it isn't just, uh, oh, that parent shows, because most people would agree and say that uh, a parent that just, uh, like for example, a rich parent, you know, that, you know, I don't know, I guess, whatever. Um, a rich parent that just buys their children a bunch of stuff, doesn't care up to um, spend time with them and whatnot. That's that's not really loving. Yes, they're get yes. Uh, I guess some concern is in is present, but you know, it's putting in more time, putting in the time to actually tell them, hey, don't do this, uh, do this and whatnot, uh, and actually teach them right and wrong. That's that. That's that. Um, that's that love. That's more so of that love. You, you, a parent want, would want to reward their children when they're when they're doing good stuff. It's not just about, oh, um, it's not just about, oh, my child wants this. I'm gonna get them whatever they want. It, oh, um, my, I I want my child to have a good life, but my child. Is a uh, is a brat and acts out all the time and whatnot. That's that's not showing love, because if you truly loved that child, you want to you want to take the time and show them. Hey, this is is number one, two, and three is wrong. So avoid this. Okay, you need to do four, five, and six. All right, and you know wanting to, wanting the better for that child you know wanting them to grow up to be wise be smart and earn and uh, overall a good person that that's actually that's the actual love all right and and uh, what's it called that tra also translates to that slack yeah that also translates to how the most high operates uh he could he could just oh deliver us uh, well not deliver us but just um what's the word uh just let us be ruling but bec we were disobedient we went and served uh golden the golden calf other idols and whatnot and we were disobedient so of course uh so of course um when a child goes off um, a parent wants to correct a good parent will want to correct them and that's what the most high did with us he didn't just um, uh, what's it called brush brush it to the side or excuse that bad behavior bad behavior he punished us for it and then he's punishing us for it now that's why we're in the uh, position that we're in now because like a good parent they um, the most high is trying to teach us and mold us out of our bad um bad behavior okay as, as speaking in a uh, parallel to a parent in the in a child all right and also another thing is um in the sec the end part in first john chapter 5 verse 3 and his commandments are not grievous it can't be you can't say that it's it's a bother or it's troublesome to keep the commandments that's 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 not a law because clearly there's a reason the mo the, mo the most high cho out of all the people in the world he chose the people of Israel and then within Israel the one third of Israel you're that chosen few and you think and you want to be ungrateful and not and want to take advantage of that of that love that he has for you, that that's 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 absolutely wrong. You can't you can't say that. Oh, uh, the love that he has for you, the love that he has for us, is a drag or it's a nuisance or anything like that. That's that's absolutely wrong. You can't be like that. Be be grateful that out of all the people in the world, he chose you to come into this truth. All right.
But yeah, like, when... Expounding on that, if you... If you actually love... If you actually love the Most High, you would not... You would also not think that when He tells you something, it's not a drag. It's the same as um, if someone asks you to do something. Like, um, hey, can you please um, help me move or whatever? And to your to your brother or your friend or whatever and that brother or friend help that brother or friend helps you out because you know they they love you as a brother brother or friend all right so with that with that they are yes um moving is annoying everyone knows that but the, you do it you help them because you know that it's annoying you number one you know well no not Number one, because you want you want to help them because you know, um, it's okay. Yes, it's moving is annoying, but you wanna you wanna help them because it's not you're not looking at the actual act of moving. You're looking at the um, who you're doing it for that brother or friend. You're helping them out. All right. And again, um, going back into what I said, um, it's um, Slakia. What it doesn't say, you can't keep the commandments. You know what? I'm just gonna Google it to make it easier. Okay, so I a right there. It there's no there's no real teaching Matthew chapter twenty eight verse twenty, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you, and lo, I am always with you, even to the end of the age. Okay, so so far. We don't see anything that says you can't keep uh, the commandments. You can't keep the old Mosaic law. You can't keep all the... Um, okay, let me search that instead. Okay, it says why we're not under the Mosaic law. There's no scripture that says we're not under the Mosaic law. Okay, let's see. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Do not think that I have come, I came to abolish the law or the prophets. I did not come to abolish, but to fulfill. Okay, so right there it says you didn't come to abolish or remove the law, the, the old Mosaic law. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or stroke shall pass from the law until all is accomplished. So it it says nothing from the law is going to pass until all is accomplished. And not all has been accomplished. Okay, so already this um, website or article, whatever, contradicted it itself. Uh author Amy K. Hall. Wow. I right, well, yeah, that's that's it for now. But anyway, that's basically what I wanted to get into. You know, it it doesn't say we're not able we're not able to keep the law. That's just they just try to they're just trying to find uh an excuse 
leeway to weasel out of keeping the law. It, it's you have to, we have to keep it. And there's and if if and sh- there's no verse that says we don't have to keep it anymore. That as a matter of fact, that verse Matthew five seventeen said, not no. The law is not going to pass away until all be fulfilled. And not all was fulfilled during the time of Yahweh Shai. Alright? So even even more even further proof. Okay, so second John uh, chapter one verse six and this is and this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning ye should walk in, okay? Uh, you know, just more, um, more, just more talk, more so talking about what love is again, you know, how love, how love is, um, uh, walking after the most highest commandments, or just like a child that loves their parents would follow after what their parents say, right? It's the same thing. And, you know, to conclude, to con- for to conclude, um, we we still have to keep the Mosaic Law. You know, I think I'm gonna title that video that instead. Um, we still have to keep the Mosaic Law. Uh, don't have a defeatist mentality. Don't say that. Oh, I can't do it. it. Oh, it's too hard. We have to strive to be perfect. Okay, right there. Matthew chapter 5, verse 40, 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. That's what we're supposed to be aiming for. Aiming to be, aiming for perfection. That's what we're supposed to be, that's what we're supposed to do. Alright? Don't, don't say that, oh, I can't do it. Don't give up. Okay? And now with that one, um... And with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, and with that, I want to say Shalom.